Hi, this is Wayne Mansfield with my weekly update. Exciting weekend coming up. I'm walking uh, with Joanne and our friend Lynn for the Cancer Walk for Life. I think it's called Relay for Life. So from 7 o'clock Saturday night to 7 o'clock in the morning, we go round and round and round the uh, uh, Junior Lup Arena. The interesting times. But over the week, a couple of interesting things have happened. With all the travel, I've been looking at new books and there's a great one that I've just noticed called uh, Sell Your Way Through Life by Napoleon Hill. I remember on the 11th of November 1975 I first read Think and Grow Rich which is really uh, the one and only book they talk about when they talk about Napoleon Hill. Uh, 16 million copies have been sold but I find this book which is written at the same time, I think 1937 it was originally published, uh, handles some of the things that we are now confronted with uh, and I've included details of it on the latest edition of the Maverick Spirit. Uh, at the end of the video uh, we'll have the address so you can go and have a look at the Maverick Spirit uh, and if you're not a subscriber already uh, why don't you subscribe and get that on a regular update. Some other things we're talking about uh, include the, the next lot of seminars which start on the 8th of November in Brisbane then I go down to Sydney, Melbourne and back here in Perth on that we talk about cold calling for scaredy cats which is one of our most popular uh, sessions we also do Twitter for business in the afternoon so that really looks at how in the last two years uh, Twitter and social media have become what you should be interested in if you really want uh, your effort on the net to take off because every day it changes and the more people use smartphones or iPhones or Androids you need to be using uh, social media and the darling of that is Twitter so I look forward to seeing you at Twitter and for those uh, in the sales business or doing selling or making phone calls uh, cold calling for scaredy cats is something that you should be uh, having a look at too now on the trip I flew my favourite airline Qantas and I noticed as I was flying around that, that Shane Warne, our world famous spin bowler, was uh, dishing it out to, to Qantas being late and him having to go through five times the uh, security check for explosives. My experience over the last uh, two to three years is that each time I fly uh, Qantas gets better and better and better. It's getting back to where it was a couple of years ago. So my experience on the four or five flights I had this week was uh, exceptional and particularly on the way back from Melbourne uh, to Perth on Wednesday night. Uh, the plane uh, was about 45 minutes late out of Melbourne due to a horrific crash on the Tullamarine Freeway and you know how the pilots normally say we're going to try and make up uh, the time. Uh, about 15 or 20 minutes into the flight the captain came on and said instead of flying at 38,000 feet we're flying at 32,000 and in the uh, Airbus 330 uh, he came back on and said it's 20 to 8 we're going to land in time on time in Perth so well done guys and the service was spectacular and I love those little screens where you can watch whatever you want to watch so I'll talk to you about my musical brain which was one of the things I watched on that trip uh, and it's really interesting stuff if you're selling. So uh, interesting times in, in uh, flying. Uh, everybody's trying to poke uh, fun or poke bad vibes at people like Qantas, but for, in my opinion, they're getting better and better, uh, and I love flying Qantas. Just to finish off, uh, over the week, I met nearly 200 people at the Power Selling Seminar. I exaggerate that number, but salesmen always exaggerate the number, but there was uh, great crowds in Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane uh, and uh, a, a loyal following of about 20 in Perth. So thanks very much. I hope uh, uh, you got as much out of it as I got talking to you. Uh, education is important and I'll close on my favourite saying. Alvin Toffler, who wrote Future Shock that I studied in 1969, so he's been around a while, I think he's in his mid-90s now, We've got this great saying uh, and why education is really important. Uh, the illiterate of the 21st century won't be those who can't read or write. They'll be those who can't learn, unlearn and relearn. Just think about, we didn't have the internet 15 years ago. Uh, try doing business without it. 
but in two to three years ago, in two to three years, people won't need to go to a computer to check what you're doing on the web. So if you're not changing your focus for internet marketing to smartphones, to iPhones, to Android phones, you're going to miss out. You need to learn, unlearn, and relearn. So this is Wayne Mansfield signing off and looking forward to talking to you next week.